We left Cheyenne on March 31st, heading towards San Diego. Logan, who has his learner's permit, drove through his first tunnel. In my family, you honk when you drive through a tunnel. You need to honk your damn horn is what you need to do. Good job, Logan. So we were able to take the boat out while Logan was visiting us in San Diego. I don't have any video of us leaving the slip this time, but departure from the slip was way better than normal. We didn't yell at each other as much, and um, we're getting better at it. It's There's definitely a learning process involved with it. We're still working on tacking. I'm, I'm still working on tacking. The wind was really strong the day that we took the boat out. It was healing pretty good, and I think Logan was a little uncomfortable. Um, probably a little to do with our lack of experience and just the wind itself. We passed a huge boat that was going the other direction, and once it passed, the wind pushed us over pretty hard. So it was a really good uh, lesson for us to learn about how the wind can actually affect our sails, which is what sailing is all about. I get it. Um, but Logan was able to drop a line in the water while we were sailing back in. The big thing with that is we don't want him to put his line in the water while the engine was going. So since the engine wasn't running and we were just sailing along, he was able to throw his water in. But or his line in, but um, he wasn't able to catch anything on this particular day. Our wonderful boat neighbor, Diane, who is also known as Fave Nabe, offered to take us on a tour of San Diego. She'd offered this a few weeks before, but we weren't able to take her up on it. So we took advantage of it while Logan was with us. She spent about four hours with us, showing us around town. She kind of took us to little areas that most tourists don't know about. She took us to a lot of the popular places as well. Um, one of the areas she took us to was La Jolla Beach. So we were able to go back there later and take Logan back to do some snorkeling. Um, You'll see some photos of that. The current was pretty strong that day, so it was pretty short-lived, but he did get to swim with the sea lion, which I thought was pretty cool. We also toured the USS Midway, and we walked the gas lamp area, and then we took scooters back to the marina. It was a really great experience because we were able to see some of those sights that we hadn't been able to see because we spent so much time around the boat. And it was really great that we had a tour guide who, who took us on this, this tour and, uh, like I said, gave us a tour of the entire area. It, it was pretty cool. Appreciate it, Diane.
Holy crap! <laughs> it's so loud. How about this? This is amazing.